good friday right uh, due to personal reasons, abanya sebege ukonza due to personal reasons, and all the drama ends again. Mason twenty, but you know what? Through it all, unkulunkulunga pezu kwa yonkinto. Lale la asma titego unkulunkulu unga pezu kwa la mapai ingwa fagil. Unkulunkulu unga pezu kwa yonkinto. We are not always on our job. God, we are going to spend a lot of money on our thing. You know. It was linked to linga pagat ends in the swing. People are so confused about my prayer sessions, but it's okay. Abangas your bias, guys. Word of advice: If um done it, those we are figured those in it never stop praying. Uzo tagata, and uzo kunu tagata na vantava wrong. So this life specifically, I'm making it for people. Abangayanga e e e e guma ista. I want to uplift your spirits. Don't feel guilty, Simtas. Kunkula gashala ngi konzo nunga pagatu kui. No maslanga na slanga na ngwen konzo. No maslanga na ngi mimoya. Ne nezwi like a little where two or three are gathered in my name, I shall be there. So I got things like when uti koto where two or three are gathered in my name, I shall be there. Now little i i i i i i i i i i i i i i in the beginning of everything, it was the word of God. And through it all, God was inside that word. It's First John chapter 1, verse 1. Well, in everything uh, you do in life, you need to understand. So let the be. Communicate. Pray if you have to. Pasha if you have to. Nakata because asi as maybe. So, lempile si pila yo itinga la manza kamo yu ngwele. Lempile si pila yo itinga a manza. You need to know where you stand. It doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter what you believe in. Whether you believe in a stone, whether you believe in God alone, whether you believe in ancestors alone, but you need to know where you stand. And stand firm. Stop being two-sided. Stand firm. We understand? The Bible says, whatever that your hand finds to do, do it wholeheartedly. It didn't specify what is it. Now, in the Second Testament, when God came from uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Second Testament, when he came from the First Testament, he said, I am not here to break any rules. So meaning, kwa gu kwa gu kwa 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 sacrifices, kwa 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 gu yenzi wa izi ntoza manzi ozwati, no, I'm just here to add on what you have. So don't feel guilty in anything that you believe in. Manifest everything that you want in your life and it will happen. Stop saying people are practicing witchcraft just because the light is shining brighter on their side. Wait. Be patient. But you know what about life? You speak existence upon these things. You ask for patience. But you need to learn how to control umona wako. But you need to learn how to control umona wako. But patience, respect, you need to adapt and pray. Ask God to guide you. Ask God to guide you. And when us dela yo, us funa yempilwe. Si no kulega nje, si kulega le pesgo matota, si kulega le pesgo mishato, si kulega le pesgo misebenzi, si kulega le pesgo kutula, si kulega le pesgo mali. Ke pelez nito mazifigila, asko asko sebenzi. Aka wo mutu wa shakan pili, ufundu proverbs. Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Ale panti proverbs. Ay jahe, yege la mava ama nyama vesi, aso kdeita. Because the prophets are talking about their life experience with God. 
or with Jesus. So look at the book of Proverbs. It gives you wisdom. It gives you that spirit of being strong. It gives you so that you can be a fearless person. Now, e proverbs is ok nigeza ok lara nipa is a wenza gutu uguaz gutu lechele we hambayo e kona la ipele la kona ene la ipele la kona ksenja bulwe umfazi no ma umuntu ofunda e proverbs agati minase nka zeli agati i can't do this anymore agati i've been doing it for so long agachonja halo Umfazo with proverbs, we are shallow tempered. Umfazo with proverbs, umdini umkulego, umdini. Instead, shallow corner. I think a man who makes a woman agasose wange dele. Umfazo with proverbs, loy. No, I'm not a preacher. I'm just talking. Umfazo with proverbs, uti magabona isi mosimnyam as buzele si mati wena ngsu as chile atu na ngsu mganwa kwena suga gim. Mubeya proverbs, 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 when I saw the one Proverbs, loyal. Proverbs, hamba. Yeah, but hamba. Fundi proverbs. You become unshakable by earthly things. Isn't it? Some slabian we as asi, foot we as understand. Proverbs ik ni uklarani. Ik ni geni faith even unkolunkolu amangal. Kutile le ni zalela zali monster. A a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Akwate, akwate ngisho no mulele. Iti mama kisla sele psu gulele. Fikile ngilo sok pila, iti hae ngalo. Agobe ne big bone. Agobe na ma bodyguard spiritually. Agobe na ma bodyguard spiritually. How do you get bodyguard spiritually? It's when you are spiritually uplifted. When you are spiritually uplifted. You automatically get bodyguards into everything that you do. Nisho no mtagati. Ha, idali. Nisho no mtagati. Uzo genza genza ikepa nyege guze kupumelele. Lalele, au dingo guti utengo o Range Rover uguzu tagate. Pak tagata hama nge nyawo. One thing I know about God, he doesn't have his favorites. But he understands the word faith. Let, let me give you a word of encouragement. I am a sangoma who heals every day. I am a sangoma who is looking up to me. I heal, I heal. I him or in church is when he took my son I'm for his belly for 12 months full my son only came back home three days I want to my life is a living testimony to those who believe and who are not judgmental I asked God when I received him when I received my gift I said my gift I said God use me in a positive way Now the sad part about being a spiritual child, no ma the sad part about being umtanelosi, it's in yembe zako melugbo pila gumunyomundo. In yembe zako melugbo pila gumunyomundo. My son is lying in hospital currently as we speak. It's been a year, and surprisingly, ever since. He's been in hospital. Kungeni inga nendo mbenya. Zia pil. Zileto abazal. Babo zia kula. Gwenza galan. Kepa zia pil. Manglo kunyes pele lang tibana nabu mama. 
when they see me, they need me to talk to them. They need counseling from me. There are people who, when they look at my child, he's been in ICU. He's been in ICU. But wonku msalu maingena e gomini lo mtanamu uya pila gomtanaki. So by my pain and by my child's pain, God is gaining angels. God is gaining people to be saved and believe in him and have faith that in ganza bozuzo pila. Now if that pain is making me win people's souls, then it's okay. For God, then it's okay. It took me time to understand that my son's situation is something that can save another soul, not one, not two, not three, not four, but more than that. So that on its own has given me the best faith ever. My son's life, yonite was upil somontu. The nurses who are treating my son, they will tell you, Umavangena in his room, whether he's in pain, whether he's what, he just smiles. I myself, when I'm going through a lot, when I enter his, his room in ICU, I just become healed. I don't know how. He now has five operations. He has five operations. But I will never, ever stop believing in God. God can, God will, today and tomorrow and forever. You want to give up? You want to suicidal thoughts because you feel like God is not listening? Hey, Ebo, we are here. Sister <laughs> Pete, we are here. The operation I'm going to is a Paula, but in Ghana, I can do it. And you are here telling us that God has his favorites? You are here saying God doesn't want to listen to you? No! Do not be shaken by anything that the devil is trying to do to you. Stick to it. Stick to your faith. You are not going anywhere. You are not going anywhere. I don't care whether you're a Christian. I don't care what you believe in. But stay. I only cried the first few weeks. But I said, God, no, 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 no. I know you are there. I know he's listening. And how do I see that he's listening? Is when other kids or other mothers, when they see my son, they have faith and they believe in God more. How so? Only God knows. So I can only rejoice and be thankful for his life because honestly, he gave me an angel. No, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to tell you that the situation that you're currently in, every day, every morning, by so saying that, or by having that thing in your life, it doesn't mean you must stop believing. For the fact that you are still alive, it means a lot. You are a Jehovah. For the fact that you are still alive, you are a man like Jehovah. What more do you want? When are we saying thank you, Lord? Never born a You are still alive. Ukwatelan. You are one of the most my favorites. Usula hitemba you in a match. Come back. Come back to Christ. Come back to Amatoma. 
Now, I don't specifically want to talk about people who believe in ancestors. I want to talk to people. Doesn't matter what you believe in. Doesn't matter the belief. That's why I'm using Christ. Because in everything that we are doing, in everything that we are all doing, the end goal is to believe in God. But everything that we do, so let's not judge each other.